I want to breach the subject of, I, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I set off yesterday to go to the NEC with 220 miles of range on 100% battery. We are, well, so I left this morning at 215 miles of range. I had to go to the NEC from Bristol, which worked out to be about 95 miles each way. I got there, I tried to charge the car. I couldn't charge the car because the charging point wouldn't work. I had my own lead, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't take my details. It was, it was ridiculous. So I, 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 I just gave, gave up on it, which meant I had 113 miles to get back to Bristol from Birmingham, and which is about 98 miles. Now, in that time, I drove relatively normally for the majority of the way, and then I got to the point where I realized that actually, the distance I had to go with the amount of charge I had left, I wasn't gonna make it. I'm still on the motorway, but I'm doing 49 miles an hour behind a lorry, trying to go very, very slowly. I've got the cruise on, which I know you probably shouldn't do, but I'm trying to, trying to, trying to sort of concentrate on everything else. Um, I have nine miles of, of, um, of charge left. I'm at 5% battery. I have 10.3 miles to my destination, um, but the services I need to get to are 8.4 miles away. So this is pretty, um, it's pretty nerve wracking if I'm honest. The uh, range anxiety thing, I don't think I've ever looked from one place to another so many times at the different, the mileage to the mileage. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I know this isn't how you should do it. I know this is not how anyone's gonna do it, but to me, I mean, I've got, I've got to go to a charger. I've got to probably fill in more forms. I've probably got to then sit there and wait for another hour until it charges up. And then, because I need to use the car tomorrow. So luckily I've got my laptop with me. I can do some work. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, 7.9 miles to the thing, eight miles on the charge. We're at 9.7 to home. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. So we're at 0% battery, I'm in power limited mode. I've got 1.7 miles to get to my de destination. But there's the services, services there. Literally, that's the services. So I'm just sat in the traffic trying to get into the services. 0%. So it still moves at 0%, everyone. Look, we're still moving. I'll let you know if I make it. So I made it. Car got here, I've got it on charge. Um, it's taking me about 15 minutes to get it on charge, but we are now officially charging. Now, it's now telling me it's going to take, let's have a look, seven hours until 100%. Seven hours. I'm not sitting here for seven hours. I walk home. This is absurd. Look at all the Teslas down there. All the Teslas down there, they're all filling up no problem on their fast chargers. I'm on this tiny little rubbish one. Mm, yes, works well, doesn't it? So I got it up to 5% and I drove it home and I plugged it in at home. I then got home, I pl plugged it in on a three pin plug just but that's because that's all I've got at home. I plugged it in on that and it told me it was going to take 70 hours. Now that was yesterday and I now have 28% battery and I've left it on overnight. So it's had a good 16 hours of charging and it got me up to 28%. It's just I know that all of those things isn't the way that anyone's going to use it because people are going to actually, you know, they're going to, they're going to use it properly. They're going to have a charger at home. They're going to do all of that. I get that. Don't in the comments, for God's sake, have a go at me about that. I don't have a charger at home, so I can't do it. But I am telling you now, if you wanted to go on a long journey, a 300 mile journey in something like this, just prepare yourself because the infrastructure of charging these cars that aren't Teslas, it is ridiculous. It's like, I'd liken it to Apple is a Tesla and Android is the rest of the market. And we all remember that Android used to be absolutely rubbish and then they've all caught up now. But it just feels to me like this segment of the market hasn't quite caught up with the charging infrastructure because no one's willing to stick their hand in their pocket and go, do you know what? I'll take it on ourselves to put all the charging points in and around, like Tesla did, it's just ridiculous. You cannot live like that. Now, another time, I had to charge it on the first day I got it, I charged it up to 100%, where I charged it up to 100%. I went there, it cost me 17 pounds to get 25% battery, which gives me 50 miles of range. 17 pounds. So if you work that out, that gives you 10 liters of diesel 
which would get you in a car that does 50 miles to the gallon. I'm not saying everyone has a car that does 50 miles to the gallon, but say 40 miles to the gallon, that's getting you 80 to 90 miles on that sort of stuff. And don't get me started on all of the stuff that, you know, making electric cars with lithium ion, etc., etc. You know, what is it doing to the planet? I don't know. Comment down below. I know this might be unpopular opinion, but I'm really sorry. I felt to myself, I had to, I had to breach the subject. I had to say that, gosh, think about it. If you're going to buy one of these and you're just going to potter around in town, if you're going to take the kids to school, if you're going to do all of that kind of stuff, this is a brilliant, brilliant car. The car in front of me, ID3, a brilliant, brilliant car. They're all, all these electric cars are becoming so good to drive and so easy to drive that I would suggest that you do check one out if you have, and this is going to sound like such a first world problem, if you have a second car that is a petrol or diesel or combustion engine car that can get you those long distances, that takes that away from your problematic doing long distances. I can't do long distances in an electric car because I have to be able to get places and get there quickly. I, I don't have time in my life to go, well, I've got to give an hour to sitting and trying to charge it up. It just doesn't work for me. If you have a charger at home, which most people that buy one of these will do, then it is brilliant. This is a great car. Go and look at it. They look super cool. They're a bit different to a Tesla, a bit different to everything else. And I think the Kia EV6 is probably up there as its main rival. But I think this looks better. So, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Comment down below. I know there'll be a lot of people out there that have done a lot more research than I have. But, whoa, I only ran this man over. Um, there'll be a lot more people out there that would have done a lot more research than I have. And will be, you know, will be eco-warriors and stuff like that. Don't, please don't come on to me and, you know, and hate me for this. I'm just telling you how I found it. I found it very, very taxing and quite difficult, if I'm perfectly honest with you. And it's, yeah, it's, I'm not ready for it. It's not ready for me. But if you are ready for it, go and try an Ionic 5. Hyundai, 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 Hyundai. I think it's Hyundai, Ionic 5. See you on the next one. Thank you.